Uh, welcome to this demonstration of the IDN switcher. My name is Matthias from University of Bonn. Firstly, I ex will explain what we are seeing on the um, video picture. So on the um, top right side, there is a big camera view which shows uh, the picture projected by a total of five laser projectors that we will control with the IDN switcher. On the left bottom part we will see the graphical user interface of the IDN switcher and on the left top smaller camera picture we will see a close-up of the respective laser show software that will be more or less in focus of the IDN switcher. So the graphical user interface is uh, programmed in Java. First step is to scan for a switcher over the network. So I'm just doing a rescan here. Then we found one switching instance and we are connecting. And the configuration has already been uh, prepared. So we start with a full configuration for our lab. On the right hand side of the graphical user interface you see all active groups. The switcher can switch between those groups and each group will activate um, some access from laser show software to the laser projectors. <coughs> One group is called all sources off. That's a group where no mapping is actually active onto the uh, projectors. The other part of the switcher has, has three areas, the left, center, and right. Uh, here we see some tabs, one tab each for each group that has been defined. If the number is too large, it will be available with a kind of drop-down menu. You see a total of 10 groups. Now we will have a look on the group of Medialas M3 software. On the left hand side there is one sender identified by the IP address. Here we see five laser projectors that are available. At the beginning one usually configures the receivers, the laser projectors in IDN. Then you can add groups and then within the group you can add mapping. Here we see the mapping now that Medialast Software M3 has access to all five projectors. That's what we currently see on the projection wall. We see five picture elements coming from five different laser projectors. So it should be mentioned that we will go step by step through all the other software, but for setting up our demo, we already activated all software and each software is already sending IDN streams over the network. That means the network currently already is considerably loaded. All those IDN streams arrive at the IDN switcher and the IDN switcher is deciding based on our mapping and on our activated group, which IDN packets should be forwarded and which should be simply discarded on the IDN switcher. So we are now switching to another instance of Medialast software, which is the older version Mamba 2.0. You see the mapping here is the same. It's another sending IP address of the computer, but uh, also it has access to all five laser projectors now you will see a slightly different laser show being projected there.
Next, we will switch to Laser Pong. Laser Pong was a fun project programmed by some students. It's running on, or well, even on a on a simple device like here. You will see a Windows 10 tablet running Laser Pong. On the close-up, you can see the preview of Laser Pong and the configuration inf interface for a geographical configuration. The mapping shows that the tablet only has access to one of the projectors currently. And now we will see the projected picture, which is the same as the preview. So the laser pong is programmed in a way that there is only one projected picture possible. It's not able to, to send data to several projectors. Um, but the, the IDN driver that we, have, um, we are using on um, the Windows tablet is configured that it is able to send two frame streams actually to the IDN switcher. So now I have activated the second projector uh, which may receive data and well now you can see the pictures look different because the projectors have different orientation. Um, if I go to the geometrical correction now and I'm changing something you will see this will be um, will be happening on both projectors because that's a single IEN stream that's coming from the software guided to the switcher and the switcher maps this to those two projectors. So for the frame mode, IDN frame mode, the switcher currently cannot do flexible mappings to projectors, which is different for the IDN wave mode. We will see that on the next machine. It's once again laser pong. But this instance of laser pong is running in wave mode, in IDN wave mode. That means that the software once again is sending a single stream but the switcher now allows for flexible mapping of the IDN wave stream to any of these projectors. So the wave, wave stream currently is visible on two projectors. We play around with the geometrical correction. So those two projectors have the same orientation. They're moving in X direction in the same way. Having a different center position, of course. So we will add one. You can see that we add another mapping between a projector and the sending source. That means this adds additional items in the center column of the uh, switcher mapping area. And now this single wave stream is being mapped onto all the five laser projectors. Now you once again can see the different orientation both in X and Y direction of the different projectors, which is quite typical. Next, we will continue with frame, IDN frame mode. That means software generating streams in IDN frame mode. Here we will switch to LSX soon, Laser Show Express. Well, I, re I will remove some wave mode mappings right now. So you see remaining two projections are uh, in the group still. 
switch all sources off, then switch to laser show express. Well, the, once again, there is a mapping of five projectors. So in the in the software, you can uh, you, you see five individual projectors. Five IDN streams are going over the network, and the IDN switcher is individually mapping those frames. You could remove one, two, three, or four or all streams from the mapping. So it means it can be individually designed for each group, which software should get access to which and how many of the projectors. One interesting future feature for the switcher would be a geometry correction in the switcher. This is currently not possible. Now we will see the dynamic software. This is an example for a software that is not capable of IDN. So it does not support IDN itself. In this case, um, we are using two NetLace interfaces, which are connected well, also all over, over the network to dynamics, but the, out, the ILDA output of the NetLace interface is directly going to an IDN stage feed converter by, um, provided by DexLogic. Um, this converter generates a wave stream. That's once again quite interesting. That means we have a wave mapping right now from those stage feed connectors to the projectors. And the wave mapping is quite flexible in the laser, in the IDN switcher. So we can add additional mappings to other projectors. Well, obviously, orientation and also size of the picture differs between those projectors. Um, it would be interesting to have the capability in the IDN switcher to do a geometric correction also within the switcher. That's a feature we will think about of implementing this in well, later this year or next year, maybe. So the second channel now will also be mapped to some others of the projectors. This is in the top right corner or even on the ceiling already. Now we go back to a frame mode. So HE laser scan also is one software that we made available with IDN already considerable time ago. So this is just a demo sequence. They are the same picture is mapped to all five output streams of the software. So the software currently sees five laser projectors. The mapping is activated. Well, if we would play a five projector show, then of course there was is individual access to each projector from the software as well. Okay, then we have some other interesting features now to mention. So the next group is mixed sources. I have prepared that. So you see one, two, three, four, five, in total five different um, computers on our network, M3 software, Mamba 2.0, HE laser scan, LSX, and also one device of the dynamic software, one NetLace. And I've already prepared a mapping where, well, each of these get access to one of the projectors. So that means the mapping currently is one wave stream is going to one of the projectors and um, four soft software senders sending ID and frame streams, they are mapped to the other four projectors. 
So the close-up now go, goes to the wall as well, so you can see the different shutter times of the cameras, um, where you can see some flickering in the close-up camera. I'm removing mappings now. <coughs> I'm adding mappings to different projectors. Now LSX got access to two of the projectors, so you can do anything you want, if you like. So now we see again one wave mapping and four frame mappings where LSX gets access to two of the projectors. <laughs> now to summarize, we have several groups here. We now have a final switch to all of these groups. So this was the second frame group. Now we have a wave mapping, another frame mapping, an HD laser scan with a frame mapping, laser pong in frame mode coming from the tablet, and laser pong from wave mode and the mixed sources once again and now we'll see some special effect on the frame mode of IDN With using the IDN, so-called IDN channels, it is possible that you send, send several streams in frame mode to the same laser projector and using the IDN switcher, it is possible to have several streams coming from different software mapped to the same laser projector. So to the best of our knowledge, um, there is no other concept or digital network for laser control that allows different software the access to the same laser projector at the same time. So now we have LSX activated and without switching the sources off I'm activating another group and now we will see some well artifact uh, of the switch implementation. The LSX picture is still available in the IDN receiver and I activated another frame group and now we have the third frame group and even the fourth frame group. That means four, four software sources are sending IDN frame packets over the IDN switcher to the IDN receiver. Only one, one of the streams is moving right now because we deactivated the other ones but the pictures are still remaining because the IDN receiver either nets needs to receive an explicit stop packet or it needs to get idle by timeout. So there is another um, video, a second video, or the part two of IDN switcher, where I um, will demonstrate the IDN channel mode on a single projector, um, directly demonstrating um, this feature.